Ever since the signing of the NAFTA Free Trade Agreement in 1992, the Mexican government has been selling the groundwater of indigenous communities out from under them to transnational corporations. Obtaining exploitative contracts through government corruption, the French conglomerate Danone has taken so much water from the Choluteca region of Mexico that the wells of the 20 communities surrounding its bottling plant were drying up and they were being forced to buy back their own water from Danone's subsidiary, Bonafont. After 30 years of government inaction and complicity, 20 indigenous Nahuatl communities organized themselves into Los Pueblos Unidos de la Región Chululteca, the United Peoples of the Chululteca region, to stop the theft of their water once and for all. On March 22nd of 2021, Los Pueblos Unidos occupied and shut down Danone's Bonafont water bottling plant, eliminating its industrial well and turning the facility into the vibrant community center Alto Pelmacali, meaning the House of the Peoples in Nahuatl. They set up a free community health clinic, a library, youth tutoring and chess programs, dance classes, medicinal plant gardens, sustainable agriculture programs, a women's organizing space, and a community television studio, hosting scores of conferences and workshops attended by communities from all over Mexico and the world. Water returned to the community's springs and artisanal wells, and Alta Pelmecali became a symbol of indigenous autonomy and an example of the people's power to defend water and life. But the insatiable greed of Danone and the politicians that serve its interest respect neither the good of the communities nor the rights of indigenous peoples. At 1.20 a.m. on February 15th of 2022, 11 months after the community stepped in to close Danone's factory, hundreds of heavily armed Mexican National Guard and state police raided Alta Pelmecali, expelling the water defenders and installing Danone's private security forces in the facility. Hiding their repulsive invasion under the cover of night, they immediately began to dismantle the community center, painting over the beautiful murals and erecting a barbed wire security fence around the facility. Now Danone, through its subsidiary Bonafont, plans to resume the grotesque but profitable over-exploitation of the community's aquifer, once again draining the people's wells and selling their water back to them. Although it promotes itself as a B Corps certified company that respects social and environmental sustainability, its actions show otherwise. Danone is criminalizing the indigenous water defenders who resist it by having criminal investigations launched into members of the United Peoples of the Choluteca region who are in constant danger of physical and legal attacks for their struggle. The communities are demanding that Danone and Bonafont leave Mexico an end to the criminalization of the water defenders, and that Alta Pelmecali, the house of the peoples, be nationalized and returned to the communities. They are calling for an international boycott of Danone, protests at Mexican embassies around the world, the public shaming of Danone, and statements of solidarity by organizations and individuals who support the rights of indigenous water defenders. Water is life, and it belongs to the people. Boycott Danone.